Hi, my name is Vicki Noble, and I just wanted to go over a couple um, teaching points for the FAST exam. Our fellow had a great uh, case recently that sort of highlighted some of the difficulties with um, really sick trauma patients, and so I wanted to just review a couple uh, teaching points about the FAST. So she had a patient that came in who was shot, and the entry wound was in the lower abdomen, and the patient was tachycardic and hypotensive um, and quickly became very um, unstable and lost pulses. Here, the teaching point here is that hopefully um, you guys can see that there's a little bit of a difference between the echogenicity here above this rib shadow and the echogenicity here kind of around the liver tip and below the rib shadow. And also, if you hold the probe, I, I know it's moving fast, sometimes in the trauma bay people get a little excited, but if you hold the probe steady for a sec, you can see that there's some swirling motion here. And so that should draw your eye to the fact that there's something different about this um, part of the uh, screen versus the part here above the rib shadow. This can be two things. It can be um, sometimes, obviously, and it, you could maybe think that it's some uh, perinephric fat. However, it shouldn't move like that. And really, this is a little bit too dark and a little bit too sharp angle to be perinephric fat. And so what you should see is that there's a difference uh, outlining the fascial planes around the liver, and then that movement, there's the swirling of the blood as it's clotting. So the teaching point here is to look for the fascial planes and then to see if that you can identify some swirling because sometimes that will make you um, highlight the difference between that echo texture and the uh, echo texture of the liver itself. This was the same patient um, with uh, the pelvic view and again you can see the same problem because the blood, this person is bleeding so much that the blood is clotted. And so again, you can see there's something that looks a little strange outside that bladder wall, sort of highlighting the bladder wall here, um, but it's a little too spiculated. It goes all the way here into the pelvis and sort of follows the contours of that space. And there is a little bit of anechoic fluid kind of outlining the clot over here. Um, so the teaching point here would be that there's something here that's heterogeneous, but, but kind of outlining the fluid. Um, and it's outside the, the bladder wall there. Just to, ha to contrast that with what's which normal, um, the normal um, uh, black fluid in a cloak space here in Morrison's pouch, this is really easy to see, and so I don't think people would have a lot of trouble with that. Um, and again, there's an, also something else you can look for, which is basically looking for this, what we call a double line sign. Um, it's the, the marker of the fascia here outlining the spleen and then outlining the uh, kidney. And when you see both of those lines there, um, both of the um, uh, fascial planes kind of sandwiching a little uh, perinephric fat, then you know that there's no fluid there. Um, those, those fascial planes are erased when there's uh, free fluid in that space. Thanks.